James 3.17 says, But the wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, open to reason, full of mercy and good fruits, impartial and sincere. James 3.17 Wisdom from above is first pure. Wisdom that comes from above comes from him who is wisdom and him who is pure. And that is the Lord Jesus Christ. And when we believe Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior and we repent of our sins, we may enter into this faith and we may enter into receiving wisdom from God Almighty. So it wisdom is first pure. It's pure in all that it does, all that it thinks, all that it says. It has no hidden agenda. It simply corresponds with truth and it guides us based upon the knowledge that God has given us both in his word and through the Holy Spirit speaking. And then we live out that and we are wise in our ways by allowing God's wisdom to live in us and then to work through us. And then uh, wisdom from above is then peaceable. Wisdom from above uh, does not seek to divide people. It does not seek to uh, uplift one person as higher than the other because perfect wisdom is pure and it is peaceable because wisdom is all about knowing God, allowing God to lead us, showing us what must be said and done, and responding appropriately. And this is done peaceably. And uh, wisdom that is guided from true born-again believers, it does not seek to divide the houses, but it seeks to bring everyone together. Because one day, uh, every knee will bow, every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior. And one day, all of us as born-again believers, every nation from every tribe, from every tongue, we're going to come together as one body, uh, just praising and worshiping the Lord and living together in perfect peace and harmony. And that is going to be a blessed, blessed thing because God has created many different people with many different personalities, many different cultural backgrounds. And what a blessing that will be when there's no division, racism, or the like. So it is then peaceable. After that, it's gentle. It's very gentle to other people. It's willing to listen uh, and after gentleness, it's it's open to reason. So it's very gentle in how uh, it responds because those who are wise respond with a gentle tone and manner. Obviously, there's going to be times where we must be firm and concrete for standing for truth. And there are going to be tougher conversations and uh, debates and certain things that we will have to boldly preach because the Bible has is truth. And we need to preach truth and love, but there are tougher truths. But uh, wisdom is gentle, gentle-spirited, gentle-hearted, gentle, gently spoken. And then it's open to reason. It's open to have dialogue with people that it differentiates with and people that do not yet know the wisdom that has been given by God. It's open to reason and discuss on a different level as far as with our spouse. Maybe there's some sort of quirk or something that we think should be done right. But it's open to reason to hear the other side of what our spouse has to say. And if we're men, we know that women are always right. Uh, it, but it's also open to reason with uh, atheists and people from different religions because our main goal is that all would come to the knowledge of the saving faith of our Lord Jesus Christ through genuine repentance. We want all men and women to come to know that. And how in the world can we expect that to happen if we're going to automatically be def defensive and not open to hearing other people and open to reason? And so... Uh, after that, then it is full of mercy and good fruits. It's merciful to other people because we know that without Christ, we are wicked sinners. I mean, we are sinners even with Christ here in this life. Obviously, we're progressing. We're being sanctified. But we're still sinners in this life. We still sin and we're sinners saved by grace through faith. Uh, and uh, those who are outside of the faith, they are those who... Um, they need to have mercy. They need to know that they are loved. And we need to not judge other people for how they think or what they are doing because we might be doing the same had we been apart from Christ with where we are now. And so that wisdom is merciful to all people, but it does not obviously condone sin and wickedness. It preaches against it. And it also bears good fruits. When we are wise, everything that we do and say will bear fruits. We will have good fruits uh, born that will come out 
and we will be able to extend our gifts, our talents, our abilities, what God has given us, what he's working in and through us. When we give that to other people, it's going to bear good fruits because we have done it uh, first with pure motives. We've done it with a desire to be peaceful. We've been open to be uh, to have reason. We've been gentle and we have been merciful to other people. And this automatically leads to good fruits. And then lastly, wisdom is impartial and it is sincere. It's it's not given to a select few. God desires to give wisdom to all. As James earlier says, we just need to ask God for wisdom and he's willing to give without reproach. And it is sincere. The wisdom that we have, we need to use and have a sincere spirit and heart and motive behind everything we do and say. Because wisdom is what is guiding us. We have the Holy Spirit in us and and he is the discerner of the Father's mind and thoughts and he makes it them known to us. And uh, wisdom is going to be sincere to any and all people. It's going to desire to walk in wisdom, but then to have wisdom not only guide and lead us and do what must be done through us, but to do it sincerely and in an effort and a desire to have the light of Christ shining within us, illuminating our soul, that others may come to see us. Uh, Because that is the goal we want to be made in the image of Christ. We want to be continually sanctified to become more holy through the blood of Christ, which has made us righteous. And we want all men and women to know that we are sincere individuals who want nothing but for them uh, to come to know Jesus Christ and to do what he is doing with us, um, even to this very moment, by offering them salvation, redeeming them, and then restoring them to God's original intent and plan, as well as God revealing his specific and individual purpose and meaning for that person's life. So may we walk in wisdom, not the wisdom of this world, but the wisdom that comes from above, which is pure, peaceable, gentle, is full of mercy, bears fruits, and is impartial and sincere.